vedrò mentre io sospiro felice un servo mio è un ben che in pan desio e possedere dovrà vedrò per man d'amore unita vi oggetto in me ne sto affetto che per me poi non ha che per me poi non ha vedrò mentre io sospiro felice un servo mio e un mente malesio e posseder dovrà vedrò per man d'amore unita un vio getto chi ne desto n'affetto che per me poi non ha a non lasciarti in pace non ho questo contento tu non nascesti audace tu non nascesti audace per dare a me il tormento e forse ancora per ridere, per ridere di mia infelicità. Già la speranza sola delle vendette mie, questo anima consola e giubilar mi fa e giubilar, e giubilar mi fa e giubilar, e giubilar mi fa, e giubilar mi fa, e giubilar mi fa. Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin the proceedings. Uh, Ms. Marcellina has filed a defamation suit against Ms. Figaro. Mr. Almaviva has kindly offered to represent Ms. Marcellina in this meeting. Uh, assisting him is Mr. Bartolo. Mr. Figaro, do you have counsel? No. I just received the email summoning me to the Zoom meeting. I wasn't expecting some kind of Spanish Inquisition. I said, I wasn't expecting the Spanish Inquisition. Ah, oh, never mind. Let's get on with it. <coughs> Figaro, you don't look well. You need a woman like Mark Molina to bring you back to health. Oh, I certainly intend to. Either marry her or pay up. A million dollars and this all goes away. I'm not marrying her and I sure as heck don't have a million dollars. Come on, the stimulus check ought to be a good start. Screw this lawsuit and screw you. That's actually what I had in mind. Besides, I can't get married without my parents' consent. If only someone could buy me out of this mess. We'll speak to your parents then. I never knew my parents. What? What? What do you mean you never knew your parents? I was told they died in a car crash when I was young. Oh, interesting. Uh, that reminds me. Let me bring in my brother into this call. He's an expert witness on these kind of situations, and he's sheltering here with my family. Just a moment. Huh? Your brother just happens to be an expert witness sheltering with you? Isn't that some sort of conflict of interest? Ugh. Can't we just handle this after the whole pandemic is over? I can't believe I'm having to deal with all this remotely and on my wedding day. Can't uh, a man just be happy? Uh, just one moment. Uh, yes, my, uh, my brothers asked me to if I might be able to help with settling this case. And uh, he informed me that Mr. Figaro had recently been tested for the SARS-2 COVID-19 virus, um, along with all of the persons that he's come into contact with recently. So. I've been able to access the blood samples. 
from all the parties, and I can testify that indeed, Mr. Figaro's parents are alive. I have their identities right here. Um, let me see. Who? 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 His mother is Ms. Um, Marcellina, uh, and his father is a Mr. Bartolo. Please mute this woman. <laughs> Is that why you avoided me for that those nine months? Mom? D Dad? Wait, hang on. How did they make this man? I mean, no, not, not because you know, I, I just I wouldn't dare to raise our son in a broken home, would you? Uh, what the hell? Will you marry me? Oh, are you serious? Yes, yes, of course, I'll marry you <laughs> again. Will someone please mute my mother? <laughs> Anyways, your debt seems like it's settled. Actually, I'll Venmo Susanna some money for the wedding. Oh my gosh, thank you. Me too. I'm, I'm Venmoing you right now, sweetie. Oh thank God. you so much. Yes, thank you. Still got to meet you though, Mom. Hey, hon. Why don't you text the Countess and let her know what's going on? Okay, I'll text her. 
But what about the Count? He'll never stop trying to take me for himself. Don't worry, I have a plan. <laughs>